Welcome back to another episode of Tactical Talks. It's been a minute since I put out a video. I got a lot of stuff going on, but I'm going to try to put out as many videos as possible and try to get back on schedule. So this video is a video that you guys have been asking me about for a really long time. I get a lot of comments about how do I like my vest. People telling me that their department's about to be going to this vest. Um, you know, they just want to have more information about this thing. And they're just curious about my opinion. So I think that's an awesome deal that, that you guys value my opinion to that extent. But I will tell you, I just washed this thing. So it looks all brand new all over again. Um, this is about the second or third time that I've washed it. It does get a little dirty, but it's very easy to wash. It's got little Velcro panels in here where you take off the actual, you know, bulletproof pieces in the inside. I got a stab uh, plate in there, I guess. And then a rifle plate on the inside as well. So it's a little bit bulky in the front. When you pull that stuff out, throw it in the washer, I hang mine up to dry it, and it works out just fine. But as you guys can tell, I mean, everything is still on here. Everything is still working. I mean, it, this thing, as soon as you wash it, I don't know if it's because I don't dry it or what, but it has that fitted fit, fits perfect. I mean, I've had no issues with this thing. No tearing, the molly webbing is holding up just fine. The zippers, I don't open and close all the time, so I, I don't really abuse those. I leave them open and then I have my little light on here that you guys have seen before I've done videos on. And then, um, of course, I keep my mic clipped on this side just because it's easier for me to manipulate with both hands no matter what I'm doing. Um, that's pretty much it as far as this thing goes. This, this video is going to be fairly short. I had a lot of people comment, funny enough, in the last video where they were talking about that vest doesn't fit you, it's too short, it's too this, it's too that. My pants, I know it's out of frame, my pants right now off duty sit lower than my work pants that sit up here so you got to think about when you're wearing that belt and your belt is sitting here your vest can't go down too much lower than that so those of you who wear vests <coughs> excuse me who wear vests you guys know what I'm talking about obviously everybody commenting that saying that this was too small it's too short you guys have obviously never worn something like this for an extended period of time because anytime you're getting in and out of your vehicle if this was any longer with my belt sitting right there, you wouldn't be able to sit down correctly. But all the attachments still work. Um, like I talked about in the previous video, all these attachments, these here, um, this one down here, these are from Zero Nine Tactical. Go and check them out if you guys want to know what that's about. This is the Blackhawk Serpa holster here. And I have a really cool way to fasten that. Go and check out my other video. And then the uh, tourniquet holder, I bought that on Amazon. And then this three mag holder is from Safari Land, and I'm using the Black Hawk. Um, I think they're called the Speed Clips, if I'm if I'm correct on that. And that's how I got the three to fit on here, as opposed to the guys that just have two. Now Zero Nine Tactical does make a three mag holder, but I already had a three mag holder, so it didn't make any sense for me to spend that much more money on something that I already had. I just made it work for me by putting Black Hawk Speed Clips in there. Um, I took everything apart. Cleaned everything off. Like I said, I washed the vest, put it all back together. I don't know how long it's been exactly as far as months that I've been using this, but this is the only thing that I wear. We have the option of wearing our old style uniform, putting your bulletproof vest underneath. I don't do that. This is all I wear every single day that I go to work, 12 hour shifts. And again, I've had no issues. The back, as you guys can tell, Nothing on the back. Same thing on my belt when I am wearing my belt. I'm not wearing it right now just because I only wanted to talk about the vest. But there's nothing on my back, nothing on the back of my belt. And it's so much more comfortable when I sit down like I talked about. Um, and that's pretty much it. Right here on mine does get dirty because I have a habit. It's a military thing and, and a lot of law enforcement officers do this as well. When you have all this gear here, all this gear here, when you go out to a scene, unless you're writing something down, it's kind of hard to, to, not really hard, but finding out where to put your hands is a whole other deal in itself. So what I end up doing is I keep my hands up here and it works out better for me. If I need to get to my taser, I need to get anywhere. Um, every once in a while, I'll try to keep my left hand up here and my right hand a little bit lower, sometimes on handcuffs or sometimes down here, so that I'm closer to my gun if I need it. But at the same time, I don't like keeping my hand on my gun because it looks a little bit more intimidating when I'm talking to people. And I don't want people to get the wrong idea and I don't want to scare them or freak them out um, if that's not what I'm trying to get at. So, like I said, this video is nice and short. This is me kind of coming back. Tactical Talks is still here. I am still going to be making videos. Thank you for everybody who has recently been subscribing. My numbers have continued to go, go up even though I haven't been doing as much. 
Um, I have new merch coming out. And I'll show you guys that really soon. And then check the links down below because I do have a podcast. And it's just all personal stories and experiences um, just for me. So if you guys want to learn a little bit more about me outside of the whole tactical limelight, go and check that stuff out. Um, I have eight episodes posted right now. A ninth episode is going to be coming out next week. It's already been recorded. And then the tenth episode is about to be recorded. We're going from 15-minute segments to hour-long segments. And that one's going to be very, very in-depth. And it's going to be story a story that I've never told well, I don't want to say never. I've told it to a handful of people, and it's just like very, very close friends and family and guys that I served with. So be on the lookout for that if you guys are interested in listening to that. And then, like I said, comment down below. Hopefully this helps you guys out. Like I said, it's been months. I don't know the exact time frame. I have to go back and look at the uh, old video, but you guys can look at the old video to see when I got this vest. And then now, and this thing still looks brand new, still functions brand new. I've had zero issues with it. I mean... It just, it fits perfect, it feels comfortable, and it's just all around, I mean, amazing, amazing, amazing. I'm super, super happy that my department decided to go to these. For those of you who are interested in going to these, um, if this is something you're on the fence about, I cannot say enough good things about wearing an outer vest on patrol. I mean, it's just been amazing. So much easier to get things, takes the stress off on my back, my lower back. The ergonomics behind it is just amazing. So I'm going to quit running my mouth. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.